the critiquing family. Okay, so today on the critiquing family, we're in the what six episode now? I don't know. Six episodes. We're on the sixth episode, and today we're gonna review a classic film, which I'm still completely wise. Classic, but let's review it. <laughs> Let's do it. The Wizard of Oz. You. Oh. The Wizard of Oz. Just sing it with me. Oh. Sing it with me. Sing it. We're up. Just sing yeah, it. The Wizard. The, the wonderful, wonderful Wizard, Wizard of Oz. Of Oz. Ah! Okay. Because you know what kind of a guy he really freaking was. <laughs> but according to Oz the Great, I'm probably full of you. like a jerk. Okay, tell us what you think. Or do you want us to talk first? I mean, you need to talk about what. You need to say what it's about. I do? Yeah, you gotta see what it's about. Alright, well, so it's about this. Well, it starts out black and white. Okay, are you telling? Go ahead. Wait, hold on. <laughs> this movie was made in 1939. I know, right? Like, 1939! Like older than Grandpa. <laughs> Anyways, now. Now, it starts off black and white, and we see a girl named Dorothy. She's walking around, being happy, not really because their aunt and uncle sucks. And has oh, a dog. <laughs> why do they suck? I she don't hurts know. herself and she knocks herself yeah. out and she goes into a dream. You don't know it's a dream until the end. And but basically, she tries to find her, like, like everybody hasn't well, seen it. Well, she, she goes tries to find her way home through the whole colorful. Well, Oz. the way she gets in there is a twister and then she goes in the Oz place. It's all a dream, though. And yeah, it is all a dream you find out later. So some characters we find along the way are the Tin Man and uh, Scarecrow and the the Lion. And, and lion, um, yeah. now I don't I really like the Tin Man, Dorothy, and Scarecrow are all right, but I think the Lion's pretty annoying. And some of the songs aren't that good, but some are pretty good. Hmm. So I don't know. Um, let's so many guys like baby. <laughs> Yeah, to me, the only boring parts of the Wizard of Oz of Wiz of the Wizard of Oz to me, the only boring boring parts are like the witch parts. For some reason, that's the part like like with the. Yeah, see, I like the witch parts. Like the part where she's looking into the globe and it's the flying monkeys and stuff. That's my least favorite part. But you said that the flying monkeys are creepy. To you. The, the flying monkeys are creepy. They're not. They're just crappy makeup because it was made in the thirties. Okay. I would like to like, see the movie done as a horror movie because it would be creepy. Okay. Now, before we get into the controversial scene, I do want to say what they want. I mean, they're going to see the Oz uh, Wizard and for certain stuff. Dorothy wants to get back to, to Kansas. Uh, Tin Man wants to get back to uh, get a, to get a heart. Tin Man wants to get a heart. The Lion wants to get courage because he's a complete whiner like my baby cousin. And uh, nice. the Scarecrow. <laughs> Wants uh, a brain or a heart? Scarecrow wants a brain. Scarecrow wants a brain. So when they get there, you know, they find it out. It's well, the whole thing is pretty much a dream that Dorothy does. Okay, now before we give our opinions of the movie, I do want to talk about this very controversial scene. Talk about it. Just not all give our opinions on this scene, Matt. Okay. Okay, the, what the scene is obviously the scene of the. Person get hung? Yeah, the uh, munchkin get it. The munchkin who committed suicide. Yeah. I'll because he didn't get it. the roll. The roll, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you want to talk to you give We've been talking about this the entire day. Yes, We've watched uh, all sorts of videos on it. Uh, and it's so I basically don't think that somebody hung themselves on a set. But if they did, I don't think we'll ever know. Because this movie was made in 1939. And if we were going to find out, we would have known by now. Okay. I think, Do honestly, that. first, the first copy when they made it, they... I think it was just a rumor, pretty much the whole thing. Well, all I know is that the only way I think we can find out is if we buy the unedited version, where it supposedly shows that the human being hangs. I don't think that'll prove that. anything. It will, well, it will at least show that it's there in one copy. I believe that it's there already in one copy. Well, how? And I still don't think that somebody committed them committed suicide on set. 
Why not? I think it maybe looked like that, but I don't think it happened. Why? Why don't you think it happened, Jim? I just think that we would have known. It would have been in a newspaper. It would have come. Cl All these years later, we would have known by now if it was not a hoax. Okay, so let's do our dislikes and likes. What do you like about the film? What do you not like about the film? Um. She watches film a lot when she was a kid. I'm just saying. And yeah, I've seen I'm, it many times. I know, I know this is insane, but this is the first time I watched it because when we were gonna review this film for the week. And which is insane, because I'm, I'm not going to say my age, even though I already have to, you guys, in I, certain times. I would say what I like about it is the mystery. I like the mystery of whether somebody committed suicide in yeah. the background. I'm talking about the I movie kinda, in general, though. I know, but that's probably my yeah. the one thing that like always kind of appealed to me, because I've known this story about this guy committing suicide for a while now. Well, what do you like, with, what do you not like about this What do I not like There about? has to be something you can I'd say do. my... The fact that it didn't really happen and it was just a dream. I agree. That ending was annoying, okay? The fact that it was a dream, I thought was stupid. We don't, every movie doesn't need to have a twist ending, guys. When I make my movie, it's probably not going to get a twist ending. The sequel's going to, if I make it, but <laughs> I'm not going to talk about what that's about. So, anyway. What about Matt? Likes or dislikes? Wait, I do have to say one more dislike. I hate the munchkins. There, I said it. They're annoying. I like the munchkins. <laughs> what don't you like, Matt? I like the munchkins, and what I don't like is the um the <coughs> all the songs. I don't like musicals. So. But you okay, like this one. Out of ten, what like. do you give it? I I'm trying to think of um I would give it a nine. I mean an eight, but I, I got to give it a seven point five because those munchkins and that uh whole ending scene about it being dream is just kind of holding me back. Okay, well, so, I'll give it an 8. So you give it an 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. What about that? I'll give it a 7. 7. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Not a classic. Bye. Bye.